right. We're going to ask you if you would please clear the arena. Hey, hey, hey. Good to see you, Joe. Right on, man. All right, we're going to call on Coco Ray Stevenson. Let ya uo. You'll be a Ayapaha for the next special. There he is right there. Okay, I know that guy. Yeah. All right, how me talk here, Pitaya, ya hippie. Ushamalo, ekche, which I shall me alone, Ayapa, hemacha. Ambe to kile, me chante, at awaglake, nahan, ampe, choose a fellow. Ake, daya, ya hippie. He to do what you wish, I shall be what you we are, and even Dexter. We even welcome Dexter Asapaz. Yeah. He's a good guy, you know that Dexter. He's really a good guy when he's sleep. Yeah. Yeah. When he's awake, he's just grouchy all the time, mean to everybody. Hey. But uh, Coco, come on over. Somebody get him a mic. He's right down there. He's going to be <laughs> announcing for this next special. I believe it's that Joe Mencos. Mekons Memorial Men's Traditional Special, Men's Traditional Dancers. All right, come on in, all of you, kind of just common Indian dancers, yeah. Those men's traditional, they're kind of like that. Oh. Oh, yeah, kind of like that, but uh, we're going to have a men's traditional special. Uh, Coco will let you know who will be singing and all that stuff. We're going to ask the family, all of those involved in the, the powwow. Oh, man, I took off from Poplar, Montana, 8 o'clock this morning, Howie. 8 o'clock, 12 hours took me to get here. Man. With two with two flats, a oil change, and a <laughs> couple hitchhikers dropped off. <laughs> but I made it. Oh man, Manitou Abi. Oh, Hechatulu. Good one, right you here. When I can't why Shahi Abi. Uh Gabadu. Well can't talk at you talk a hecha. Yeah. No tiny toss tonight. We'll hook you up tomorrow. Double pay. Hey, you get two dollars instead of one. Hey, but where's Coco at? Did you get a mic yet, Coco? Okay, you ready to go? Ladies and gentlemen, turn over to my good buddy right here, all the way from Winnipeg. He helps singers and stuff like that, but uh, he's going to be your Ayapa. Coco, take it away, boy. All right, once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ray Coco Stevenson. I was given the name Walking Wolf over 35 years ago in ceremony. I come from the Martin clan. Today, I've been asked to help out with a good friend of mine who passed on a couple years ago. His daughter, granddaughter, is here with us today. He was an active member with the Aboriginal Veterans Association all across Canada. He went by the name of Mr. Joseph Mekons. He was born in March in 1941, as a size Dene First Nation member, he was in the Canadian Armed Forces and was deployed to Germany and act as a national peacekeeper in Cyrus. After retiring from the military in 1971, he worked as a correctional officer just down the road in what we call Stony Mountain Penitentiary. You know, over the years, He's been acknowledged for some of the work that he's done in the community. He was given the Order of Manitoba in 2009 and also received Queen Elizabeth II Diamond Jubilee, and that was 2012. In efforts for the Aboriginal veterans, he was also working with people in uh, our main city, and that is Ottawa, to be able to get that monument up there. So he did a lot of work, and he's also buried not too far from here, just down the road at Brookside Cemetery. And he's a very active member that I worked probably more than anybody else one-to-one -one with him when it came to powers around the surrounding area. But at this time, I believe we're going to stay in drum rotation, so we're going to be asking Whitehorse, one of our local drum groups. Red Thunder. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, I didn't see that. 
So what we're going to end up doing, we're going to end up doing an honor song, a memorial song first. Following that, we're going to be asking our judges and some of the family members from the First Nations that are here to do that walk. And we're going to be asking all of our veterans to walk with them. Greg, Julie, and our son is awesome. They couldn't be here today. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be asking all of our contestants that's going to be taking part of this special to stay where you are, around the outside. We're going to be asking that circle to be complete. We're not going to be asking anybody to come up and shake hands at this time following this memorial song. But once they complete that circle and get to the front, we will be asking our judges to make their way where they need to go. Dancers, you will have two songs. Each judge will pick two finalists. Following that, we will have two more songs. And that's when our winners will get picked. From our top ten. Once again, in honor of Joseph Mekons, a member of Sai Dene First Nation. Thank you, Red Thunder, for that song. All right, dancers, listen up. This is the way it's going to work. We're going to end up having two songs. We have five different judges. They will pick two each. Then we're going to continue on with another two songs, and that's where our five winners will end up being picked after that. So that's the way it's going to happen. We're going to stay in drum rotation. With that being said, I believe song number one will be going over to 
Motown. The boys, you're going to have a change em up song for song number two. Judges, can I get our judges to come over here? Oh, hey, Lisa Meaches, if you're around, we're looking for you at this time. Lisa Meaches. Um, there. All right, once again, ladies and gentlemen, all our judges know what to do. They're going to disperse throughout the dancing area. They're going to have two dancers each following those two songs. And those 10 finalists, we're going to go all over to our next two drums for the final contest songs, and that's when our winners will be announced. How we doing, Rusty? We good to go? All right, Motown, you got a song ready to rock and roll? Good luck, gentlemen. Song number one. bring them a drink of water. That way our judges don't get confused. There are a lot of you. Family members, if you want, you can bring them out a drink of water at this time. We're going to have one more song. I believe that's going to be a change up. We'll be going straight into our, the boys is going to have that song for us. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, song number two. Following that, we'll be doing 10 different finalists. Finalists, we're going to be asking you to make your way up to the front. 
judges, we're going to be asking you right after this song to pick your two dancers. Family members, if you want, I'm going to ask you to be on standby with that water to keep an eye out on who's going to be dancing from your family. So if they need a drink of water or they're having a hard time, you'll be able to access them right away. So once again, we're going with song number two. We're going to change it up a little bit, and then we're going to be doing another two more songs. So Bullhorn's going to have song number one, and my good buddies over there, Creek and Feds, they're going to have song number two. All right, looks like we are ready to rock and roll. Song number two. Good luck, gentlemen. pick our 10 finalists right now. <laughs> Judges, you're going to pick two each. And when you have your two finalists, we're going to ask you to come and stand beside the family here on the front by the back door. All right, I see we got one coming on over here. It's so crowded out there, it's hard for me to see who's being picked, but we're going to ask you, once you do get your picks, come up to the front, be beside the family. And if we have any family members that's somebody that's been picked, we're going to be asking you to uh, maybe give them another drink of water if they need one at this time. They'll be getting two more songs. Also want to thank the Wesley family for being supportive, helping out. And tonight, it's a tough thing to do to remember a loved one. And this is who we are, and this is what we do as First Nations people when we want to keep that memory alive. So I believe we have one, two, three, four, five, and we're still looking for a few more. 
Four more. Want to thank uh, Lisa Meaches, Wabganu, Wambadi, and also we have a family member that was Anissa of Joe that was helping us out as well. You know, I just want to say thank you to her. Her name is Bernice Thrasi. Pekka Cheskwa, guys, she's got to find her two dancers. <laughs> she was waiting for somebody to uh, tell her it's okay. You know, one of the things about uh, Saiz Dene is there are people that were moved out of their territory. And there was a long story about that. But you also think when you go down south around Arizona that way, there's a lot of Dene there as well, and they actually came from up north. So the language is pretty familiar. And I was a little surprised and shocked when I went down that way, and I found out there was Dene back in my travels. You know, I've been very lucky and fortunate enough to be able to do the powwow circle for many years, and now that I'm getting older, I just want to stay close to home, so... I don't need to travel because I'm too old for that and I'm too busy here. All right, once again, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a nice big round of applause for our 10 finalists and a nice big round of applause for the rest of our men's traditional style dancers, both Woodlands, Northern Style, and I'm not sure, but I think we might have even had some Southern Style there. You know, right here is a show of love and appreciation for one another as dancers. All of these dancers that you see here have been brought into the circle, some right at birth. It's become a way of life for them. They bring their babies up in this way of life. And again, we're going to be going on with another two more songs. From what I've been told, we're going to pick five finalists after these two songs and one more song, and that's what we'll be picking. Starting from the bottom right up to our champion. Not the bottom, but fifth place. All right, dancers, once again, after we finish shaking hands and showing a little bit of love for our top 10, we're going to be asking our top 10 to make their way to the dancing area at this time. We've got two more songs to do. We're going to pick a top five after those two songs, final top five. We're going to go from five, four, three, two, right up to our champion.
Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're at our top ten. We're going to be picking our final five after two songs, and then we're going to do a champion song and pick our winners from there. So I'm just letting you know and giving you a heads up what's going to be taking place. Family members, if you think you need to take some water out, bring them to your relative while they are dancing. It's not easy at the beginning of powwow season to be able to do five songs. So if they need some water, make sure you look after them. All right, Rusty, how we doing? We good to rock and roll? He says we are good to go. Bullhorn, if you would, sing my song and make them dance. Good luck, gentlemen. song number one in the second round of judging. All right, family members, if you get a chance, maybe bring out a shot of water, give it to our dancers. Judges, you know what you have to do? we got one more song coming from our brand new Gathering of Nation champions, Dallas Waskahat and the Boys Creek and Federation. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ray Coco Stevenson. It is a great honor. Thank you, Renata and family, to be able to ask me to come and do this. I didn't expect to do this, but you know what? We've been friends for a long time, ever since Joe was brought into the Powell Circle. And I don't think there's anybody that worked as much as we did together. You know, when the Aboriginal Veterans Association started up here in Manitoba, I was part of that, and I would invite Joe and his all his friends to come to all the powwows around Winnipeg. So everything started here in Winnipeg, and then it just kind of went to the surrounding areas with all the powwows at different places. They ended up getting invited to many different powwows, and Joe was always looked after all the guys. You know, so we had a really good, close relationship with each other. It was nice because, you know, 
Joe would come up to me and say, okay, Coco, what's the plan? <laughs> so almost every power, okay, Coco, what's the plan? I says, okay, this is what we're going to do. He says, okay, I'll make sure the guys know what to do, and we'll get it done. All right, Creek Confederation, song number two, contest. Some noise, show a little bit of love for our top ten. All right, judges, we're gonna ask you to be picking one each. Judges, one each. We're gonna be asking our top five to make their way up to the front. Whitefish Bay, hang on. We're gonna go back over here to our local drum, Red Thunder. <laughs> There's your new intro. Hey. So once again, judges, we're going to be asking you to pick one, and we're going to ask you to make your way over here if you're one of those five finalists. After this final song, we will be going with five, four, three, two, and then our champion dancer for the Joe Mekon special. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're almost ready for our final song. Once again, any family members out there that would like to uh, give them a quick shot of water or something before they do their champion song. And again, we will be going with our top five finalists 
five, four, three, two, and then our champion. Once they get the high sign from Rusty for our fifth and final song, we will get that underway. Judges, we're going to be asking you maybe to get together. All right, so this is how it's going to work. We're going to be doing our one song. We'll be asking our five finalists to come up to the front in between the two pillars where the first two speakers are. Our judges will get together. They'll do a little collaboration, and they will pick their winners for three, two, one. And then our champion, five, four, three, two, one. How we doing, man? All right. Red Thunder, sing them a contest song. Good luck, our five finalists. Oh, hey, hey.
and gentlemen, that's our fifth and final song. Come on over here to the front, gentlemen. We're going to ask you to line up in between the two pillars facing the front exit door over there. Judges, we're going to ask for you to come out by the family over here, do a little collaboration, and then we're going to start from fifth place and work our way up to the top. But before we do that, you know, on behalf of everything that's going on today, we would like to give the daughter of Joe Mekons the opportunity to be able to say a few words. Thank you, Coco. And uh, quickly, I'd just like to say thank you to all the dancers. That was beautiful dancing. And I'd also like to thank the people that supported the fundraising towards this special in honor of my dad. Uh, my dad was a big part of the powwow community and he loved being at the powwows and with his comrades and with you all. So thank you for that. And I would just like to acknowledge that um, Joe has family, but they are spread out over Canada, mostly in Western Canada. So there's not many of us here. And I'd like to thank my Wesley family for standing here and supporting and the veterans. Um, and I guess just one thing about my dad uh, was he was a very kind person, a big man. I miss him every time I see the grand entries because he was, <laughs> he was uh, a grand man. And uh, so he's dearly missed. And uh, we thank everybody for honoring him this evening. Thank you. You know, I also want to mention uh, thank you to the organizers, Lisa Meaches and Mantuabi, for letting us be able to do this special, you know. So, again, thank you so much for helping out and stepping up to the plate. These are all friends that we all know amongst each other that we ask to be uh, judges. So we're going to go with fifth place whenever they are ready. All right, we're going to go with our fifth place winner first. All right, there's our fifth place winner right there. I believe that's uh, Darcy Malcolm Jr., Evan Flow First Nation. Oh. Okay, we're going to go with our fourth place winner whenever the judge is ready. Originally from Peg, was just down the road from Fisher River, there, boy. Hey. Eric Wilson, originally from uh, Pegwis, now in Whitefish Bay. Thank you, Eric. Okay, third place. Here we go. Our third place finalist right there. Gabriel White Dock, is it on Gizzi, Quebec? Algonquin Nation. Oh, he's a long way from home. All right, second place. Hunter Blasting Game. This guy's a deadly singer, man. Champion right there. He's one of my favorites, I got to tell you. And we have our champion over here all the way from... Lame Deer, Montana. Ruben Littlehead Jr. All right, that's our champion. Let's give him a nice big round of applause. We're going to let these guys finish off doing what they have to do. Now that we are done this, I'm going to hand the mic over to one of our guys up there. So, Mr. Christensen, you're one of my uh, mentors. I will listen, and I've been watching you and following you for years. So, with that being said, on behalf of the Mekons family, and all of the veterans for the Aboriginal Veterans Association chapter here in Manitoba, 
Thank you so much for letting us be able to do that. And we're going to hand the mic back over to our announcers. Miigwech and good luck to the rest of all the dancers and drum groups throughout the weekend. All right, let's give the Joe Mekons family a great big round of applause. Good job, guys. And Coco, you did a good job there, boy. Kind of know what's going on out there. Good job. All oh, these guys made them songs look real show. Show yellow. What you want to do, Rusty? 